Web well, iPhone season again. And yes, it may be a little late because of the big C word, and that may make this year's iPhone's lifespan a little shorter, but that remains to be seen. But what we do know is that the iPhone 12 is almost here, and we're very much looking forward to giving it a spin for ourselves. As you can tell, we're really excited, and I'm sure you want to know why, and there is 12 big, juicy reasons to be excited. And here they are. Sit down, strap in, and grab some popcorn, because this is going to be a long one. Mind out the gutter. 5G. 5G is the most notable feature in Apple's new lineup of iPhones and is the standard in Apple's new lineup. It would be available in all of the models. That's the iPhone 12, iPhone 12 mini, iPhone 12 Pro and the iPhone 12 Pro Max. 5G is the next generation of phone connectivity and the successor to the current standard which is 4G. 5G will bring incredible speeds to the iPhone and where possible will allow for up to 4 gigabits per second of download speed. Improved video streaming, improved upload speeds, more responsive gaming and real-time interactivity. They're also great benefits for 5G. One smart feature of the new iPhone lineup is the ability to smartly switch between the slower speed of 4G and the faster speed of 5G on the fly. For example, if you're using Twitter, the phone will reduce the speed to 4G to save data and battery life, while if you're streaming 4K and Netflix, the phone will upgrade your signal to 5G to give you a better experience. Camera. Both the iPhone 12 and 12 mini come with two cameras each. However, the main camera has slightly changed. It still has 12 megapixels, but the lens now has a seven element lens and a larger f1.6 aperture, therefore allowing 27% more light to hit the sensor compared to the 11. This will mean less noise, brighter imagery in low light. Also available on these models is a second 12 megapixel f2.4 stop ultra wide camera with a 120 degree field of view. This camera has a five element lens to it and the focal length is equivalent to a 13 mm lens on a regular camera. Apple's deep fusion technology can now be used on either camera as opposed to just the main. Night mode will be available on both the ultra wide and front true depth camera. There is also a new night mode time lapse feature. The ability to shoot in HDR video with Dolby Vision at 30 FPS and Apple's smart HDR feature is also available to use. While on the iPhone 12 Pro and 12 Pro Max, there is still three cameras. However, like the regular iPhone 12s, these have been improved. For the iPhone 12 Pro, this still uses the same f2.0 telephoto lens, though you can now use Deep Fusion with it. The 12 Pro has LiDAR, which we'll get onto in just a moment. It also has the same main and ultra wide cameras as that is found on the iPhone 12, and it has a 2x optical zoom and a 10x digital zoom, which is thanks to the 52mm equivalent telephoto lens. You can also shoot in HDR video with Dolby Vision, though unlike the iPhone 12, the iPhone 12 Pro can shoot at 60fps instead of 30. Now, for the iPhone 12 Pro Max, this is where the real difference comes in. The 12 Pro Max has a 12 megapixel f1.6 aperture wide camera. Now that now has a 47% large sensor. This will help to improve low light photography by 87%. And the main camera also has a sensor shift optical image stabilization. This will allow for the sensor to move inside the camera to offset any movement. This should help to make more stable photos and videos. The iPhone 12 Pro Max has a 2.5 optical zoom compared to 2X on the 12 Pro. This is thanks to an equivalent 65mm focal length lens, however the aperture is slightly slower at f2.2. The LiDAR sensor is the same as found on the iPhone 12 Pro, and the ultra-wide camera is exactly the same as found on the iPhone 12 and 12 Pro, while you can digitally zoom up to 12x instead of 10x. You can also shoot in Dolby Vision HDR at 60fps, much like the 12 Pro. LiDAR. Apple have introduced LiDAR into their smartphones, though only limited to the Pro lineup, the iPhone 12 Pro and the iPhone 12 Pro Max. A LiDAR sensor will help to improve the AR capability of these devices. LiDAR is a time of flight sensor, which measures how long it takes for the light to bounce off objects in a room and return to the sensor. This information is then used by the phone to judge the depth of each point that is measured. As a result, more accurate augmented reality experiences can be both faster and more accurate than ever before. This is because the LiDAR sensor will essentially scan a room and create an accurate 3D map for these augmented reality experiences. Apple says that the LiDAR sensor in the iPhone 12 Pro and the 12 Pro Max will allow for instant AR. You can also utilize LiDAR to autofocus in low light up to six times faster and even take night mode portrait selfies. Apple Pro Raw. There's even more tech coming to the iPhone's cameras this year, though this particular feature is limited to the 12 Pro and the 12 Pro Max. Raw, specifically Apple Pro Raw. Coming later this year, Apple Pro Raw is a brand new photo format from Apple. It is said to offer photographers the combination of computational photography smart technology and the ease of use and flexibility of raw editing. As we all know, 
Raw photos have this incredible flexibility to them and you can edit almost anything with a raw photo. So, when you shoot in RAW, you will lose the benefits of Apple's smart features such as Deep Fusion and Smart HDR3. With Apple Pro RAW, you will be able to get both these smart features and the RAW editing ability. This brand new image processing will combine multiple steps of processing and create a brand new file. And all this is done by the CPU, GPU, ISP and natural engine and without any shutter delay. You will now get full control over color, detail, dynamic range and get the flexibility of RAW editing it all right from within the camera app. Though there will be an API which allows developers to build Pro Raw Capture into their own apps. A14 chip. A new smartphone means a new chip. The iPhone 12 will now ship with the A14 Bionic, a successor to the A13 Bionic chip, which is found in the current iPhone lineup. While the A13 is still comfortably one of the fastest chips ever in a smartphone, the A14 goes one step further and becomes even quicker. The A14 brings improvements to the camera and the neural engine, which is the portion of the A14 which handles all the smart tech, such as artificial intelligence, and this has been extended from 8 cores up to 12. So basically your phone will now be even quicker to complete tasks, whilst getting more intelligent too. Better yet, it does all this while using less power, so that means better battery life. New design. There is a brand new design for the latest models of iPhone all across the models. That's the iPhone 12, iPhone 12 mini, iPhone 12 Pro, and iPhone 12 Pro Max. Gone are the rounded edges and the squared off sharp edges are back from the iPhone 4 days. iPhone 4 still remains one of the best designs of a smartphone. People have been clamoring for this design to come back and the prayers have been answered. The antenna placement has been improved since the controversy of the original design, which led to Apple having to release a special case for them, so you can rest easy on that part. However, there is a slight change between the models. The iPhone 12 and iPhone 12 mini made out of aluminium, whilst the iPhone 12 Pro and iPhone 12 Pro Max are made out of stainless steel. MagSafe MagSafe is coming to iPhone, in a rather genius way too. On the new iPhones, there is a special array of magnets that help align the new iPhones to Apple's new MagSafe brand of chargers, or a third-party MagSafe compatible charger. Think Apple Watch style magnets, but for iPhone. It will also charge much faster at 15 watts instead of 7.5, but again, you'll have to use the MagSafe brand of chargers or the third-party MagSafe compatible charger. Not only does it help to align your iPhone 12 to a wireless charger, seriously, why has no one ever thought of this before? It can also help connect to an array of brand new accessories to the iPhone. Apple showed off one example whereby the iPhone 12 slotted into a case via magnets and then connected a credit card wallet to the back of it via magnets, easily and securely. Worry not, as the magnets are shielded and they will protect your credit cards. Colors. Who doesn't love a bit of colour in their life, eh? There are a range of brand new, bright and exciting colours coming to the iPhone 12 and iPhone 12 mini. It will come in blue, green, black, white and product red. Whilst the iPhone 12 and 12 Pro will remain distinctly professional and sleek and come in silver, graphite, gold and a brand new colour, Pacific Blue. We have to say that the gold one looks very good. Screens. For the first time ever, the brand new lineup of iPhone models will come with OLED screens. More specifically, the lineup will come with Super Retina XDR OLED panels and feature an edge-to-edge -edge design, though the notch is still there. There is no difference in the display between the regular 12 models and the 12 Pro models either. The iPhone 12 mini 5.4 inch display has a resolution of 2430 by 1080 with 476 pixels per inch. And the 6.1 inch iPhone 12 display has a resolution of 2532 by 1170 with 460 pixels per inch while the 12 Pro models have 2532 by 1170 resolution with 460 pixels per inch and the 12 Pro Max has a resolution of 2778 by 1284 pixel resolution with 458 pixels per inch. They also come with HDR support with 1200 nits peak brightness. What this basically means is that the screens will provide wide color range for vivid true to life colors, true tone to match the color temperature of the display to the lighting that's around you for a natural viewing experience. Ceramic Shield Say hello to a brand new screen for this year's iPhone. I know we already spoke about Apple's introduction of OLED in a new lineup, but Ceramic Shield is the glass. Ceramic Shield is a brand new standout feature that Apple says is tougher than any smartphone glass, with it being four times as great a resistance to damage from drops. We're eagerly awaiting YouTubers testing that one, while Apple worked with glass ceramic manufacturer Corning as glass ceramic is tough and lightweight. Whether or not the ceramic glass can withstand the general public's wear and tear of people's disregard for their stuff remains to be seen. But I for one am really excited for this new tech. Will we see an era of phones that don't really have to apply a screen protector? iPhone mini. And finally, we'd like to give a special shout out to the iPhone 12 mini. As we spoke earlier on in this video, we love the size of the iPhone 4 
Apple brought this back with the iPhone 12 SE and they're taking things to the next level with the iPhone 12 mini. The iPhone 12 mini has all the same technology that's built into its bigger brother, the iPhone 12. Though it is vastly different to the iPhone 12 Pro models, but that's in a different league entirely. The only difference between the iPhone 12 and 12 mini is screen size. The iPhone 12 is 6.1 inch and the 12 mini is 5.4 inch. Other than that, it's still a great phone. Smaller doesn't necessarily mean worse. If you love the iPhone 4 and want to step into the latest technology, why not pick up the iPhone 12 mini? It's a great size and perfect for those that enjoy small phones and you can easily type with one on one hand. So there you have it, 12 big juicy reasons to be excited for this year's iPhone, the iPhone 12. To recap, it comes in four flavors, iPhone 12, iPhone 12 mini, iPhone 12 Pro and iPhone 12 Pro Max. iPhone 12 and iPhone 12 Pro will be available to pre-order this Friday, October the 16th and available to pick up on the following week, October the 23rd price at $7.99 and $9.99 respectively. While the iPhone 12 mini and iPhone 12 Pro Max will be available to pre-order on Friday, November 6th and will be available to pick up on the following Friday, November the 13th. Price at $6.99 and $10.99 respectively. What color and type of iPhone will you be getting? Let us know in the comments below.